Wow. Hello again, hello again, welcome. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hello again and welcome back to Book of Your Bible. Uh, thank God for His love and His mercy. And we thank Him for giving us another opportunity where we could share the Word of God together. Um, last week I was talking about the anniversary and um, let me just sing my intro song and I'll talk a little bit about that later. Okay, let's see.
remember that there's a verse says something about the tall trees in the winter. There's something that I will play. Um, I don't have the book to look it up, so I don't remember. I guess maybe. <laughs> but I didn't want to see it. All this time I never remember that verse, but now we're going to winter. It would have been maybe nice for you to sing it, right? right? Um, okay, let's try this one. We're going to try to use this. So hallelujah, I'm so glad to tell.
remember, I remember, um, I remember back in the, in the, um, in the 80s, I was um, rehearsing this song with some children, uh, the group of children at the church, and I remember when I, um, I was playing this guitar, that um, this one, she wasn't, she wasn't used to it, she was like one of the biggest ones in the group, and she said to me like, she don't want, like that slim guitar, she, she wanted a fat guitar, which was, I think that was my Egmont guitar that she had used before. He said that that's the one she wanted to hear. Hear <laughs> children that speak their mind, you know what I mean? Say. And then they were, we were rehearsing this song. Um, I remember my brother was saying, Oh, the children are singing, I've got love like a lotion. <laughs> children didn't know that. Of course, they know lotion, right? Because they sit at home and mother use it, they use it. So they say, Love like a lotion. Uh, well, what do you know? I was a child too. I did the same thing. <laughs> okay, I, I'm going to sing. Um, okay, that's about it. Different, and uh, the well-known story about Noah and the ark. 
right? Um, so when you think of arc, what are you thinking about, right? Arc, 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 arky, arky. The Lord to know the building man, arky, arky. Oh, that's a good that's a right? I don't think I can handle that one today, but anyway. <laughs> um, the arc is this big boat. You might have seen it in books. Um, in fact, there's a place on now, uh, Mount Grand Avenue, named, uh, what's the name? Some other arc. It was because an animal hospital, I think it's, I think it's, yeah, that's the name of it. Yeah, animal hospital. And the arc was a very massive boat, right? I never seen anything like that in all their lives. Um, but God told Noah to build an ark. <coughs> there was nothing else excuse me, in the world from that time till now that's called an ark. There have been other boats that have been built, ships, but none of them is called an ark because they were not the ark. The ark is the boat that Noah built, um, the ship that he built. The Bible said it was three layers and he was supposed to make it that every animal could come into it. You know, I, I believe that this is important because sometimes we seem to think that God only cares for men, but he cares for animals, right? He made the animals here and he also wanted them to be happy. But because of the, the, the bad things that men are doing, then it makes the animals unhappy, right? They are killed and their life, their how their where they live is taken away from them. You know what I'm saying? When they go and they burn down a forest or they cut it down or something, they don't know if rabbits and they really couldn't care less and squirrels or whatever were living there or even under the ground when they cover it over they really don't care what was going on there, right? They're just about themselves making money. Right. These animals, their lives have been torn up because of the wickedness of mankind. So the scripture said, um, we're reading from Genesis chapter 6 and verse 8, it says, um, <clears throat> But God, Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. And they said, These are the generations of Noah. Noah was a just man and perfect in his generations. And God and Noah walked with God. Right? It means he was a good man. He loved God and he served God. And he had three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. The earth also was corrupt before God and the earth was filled with violence. A lot of evil things were bad things were happening in the earth at the time. Right? And they're happening now too. Right? Around us. The earth also was corrupt before God and the earth was filled with violence. And God looked upon the earth and behold it was corrupt for all flesh had corrupted the way before the Lord. And and um, he told Noah in verse 14, make thee an ark of gopher wood, room shalt thou make in the ark, and shall pitch it within and without with pitch. And this is the fashion which you shall make it of the length of the ark shall be three hundred cubits, and the breadth of, of it fifty cubits, and the height of it thirty cubits. A window shalt thou make to the ark, and in, um, and in a cubit shalt thou finish it above, and the door of the ark shalt thou set in the side thereof, with lower second and third stories shalt thou make it. And behold, I, even I, God said, do bring a flood of waters upon the earth, right? uh, and to destroy all flesh, wherein is the breath of life from under heaven. And everything that in the earth shall die. But with thee will I establish my covenant, and thou shalt come into the ark, thou and thy sons, and thy wife, and thy son's wife with thee. And of every living thing of all flesh, to of every sort, shalt thou bring into the ark, to keep them alive with thee. They shall be male and female, fowls after their kind, and cattle. And the scripture told us that for some, some animals, he took seven. Right, and for some animal, the animals that were clean, right, that he took seven, and those who were unclean, he took two, right, and the, the, you will understand later on why, because for the seven he was going to offer one for a sacrifice after the flood, and then the seven were the ones that people eat, 
So of course there had to be more of them than the ones who clean up the earth. Right? So all of these things came about because of man's sin. Right? Our man's sin. And today, if the earth is bad was bad in those days, you know, it's worse now. Because some things are happening now. People when you maybe think of doing those things those days. But it's very really bad. In some of the things that are happening, the children, it's a shame. It's a, it's it's just so evil. It's so evil. I mean, children are so innocent. They are being abused. They are being uh, mutilated. I mean, all my stuff happened to them all over the world, and nobody seemed to be paying attention. But we wanted to know, children, that God in heaven is seeing what's going on, right? As Jesus told, He said, He said, these little ones in heaven. The angels do always behold the face of my Father. So God is seeing what's going on. And we're going to pray at this time. We just want to pray that um, God will help us that when the next destruction comes upon this earth, that we will be spared just like our Noah was spared. Amen. Our Almighty God, our gracious our Father, the great Yahweh, who dwell between the children. The Lord of hosts is your name, you shine forth that the earth in your glory. Let your glory rest upon us, your light shine out of us. Be exalted, Father of the heavens, be exalted, Father of the earth, be the exalted, Father of the heavens. Let thy glory be above the clouds, for thy are the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Father, we thank you for another Shabbat. Thank you for this privilege of sharing your word with the children. Lord, I pray you bless them. And keep them in your love and your faith, my God. I pray that you watch over them, provide for them their parents, with um, our Father, that teach them the way of righteousness, preserve them as they go to school, my God. So many things are going on today, my Lord. You know, if it weren't for the hope and the faith that we have in you, we would have been a man of most miserable, as the Apostle Paul said. But we thank you that we have this confidence in you. Lord, that seed that was sown in my heart as a child, my God, I know that you're still sowing seeds like that in the hearts of children. And um, it will blossom and grow as your word has said, train up a child in the way he should go. And when he's old, he will not depart from it. So, Father, even that seed will, will grow and will be a fruit for your kingdom. So, Father, I pray you bless them, bless their household, preserve them, my Father. And keep on the shadow of your mighty means, Lord. I pray you cause us to rise up before thee. Establish our going up and coming in. Hallelujah. Grant that the purpose you have for our lives accomplish us for time and eternity. And cover under the blood of the great eternal land. Cover the almighty wings of great eternal hand. Go before us and pillow fire and night. Pillow fire and night, dear Father. Save us in your kingdom, and Lord. Be sure to have a shield of grace shall come in glory. For thine is the kingdom. And the power of the glory of heaven and the mighty name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Yeshua, Messiah, the great and Christo, Senor, the great, our Father. Amen. Jesus, the great, our Father. So now we're going to go back to this and try to finish up with a, with a Noah's song. Um, now I don't, I'm just going to sing the Mr. Noah built an ark, right? I don't know what I said. Mr. Noah. Now we're going to keep up with
fishes and whales were glad for the water. We were swimming all over the place, having fun. Is it?